Hello students, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I am going to discuss in detail about the concentration cell. Concentration cell is a galvanic cell. That means it consists of two electrodes and two electrolytic solutions. Let me draw the concentration cell. So, concentration cell is a galvanic cell. That means it consists of two electrodes dipped in two electrolytic solutions. The two electrolytic solutions are connected through salt bridge. And salt bridge is made up of ammonium nitrate solution. The difference between the concentration cell and the galvanic cell is here both the electrodes are made up of the same material. Let us consider the electrode is made up of zinc. So a zinc rod is dipped in zinc sulfate solution. At the same time on the other hand it also consists of a zinc rod dipped in zinc sulfate solution. So, with respect to concentration cell, both the electrodes are made up of the same material. Both the electrolytic solutions are made up of the same material. Then how current will flow in this concentration cell? So, the only difference is the difference in the concentration of the electrolytic solution. So always the concentration of cathodic solution is greater than anodic solution. That means C2 is greater than C1. So due to the difference in the concentration of the electrolytic solution always the transfer of material takes place from higher concentration solution to the lower concentration solution. This creates the electricity. So in this way we can observe the potential difference between the two electrodes. So always the electrode which is present on the left hand side acts as the anode. And the electrode present on the right hand side acts as the cathode. So these two electrodes are connected to the voltmeter. The deflection in the voltmeter shows the direction of flow of electrons. So always electrons will flow from anode to the cathode. And C2 is greater than C1 and hence material will be transferred from C2 to C1 that is from higher concentrated solution to the lower concentration solution with the result that potential difference will appear as electricity in the voltmeter. So let us consider what are the reactions taking place at the anode and at the cathode. So coming to the reactions at anode. 
always at anode oxidation takes place so initially zinc undergoes oxidation into zn plus 2 ions and here what is the concentration of the solution c1 at the cathode what happens always reduction takes place so right hand side electrode will act as cathode so here the zn plus 2 ions from c2 solution will gain the electrons and gets converted into zn that means it will be reduced into zinc so what is the net result so the cell reaction is zn plus 2 ions from c2 solution will be converted into zn plus 2 ions of c1 concentration that means material will be transferred from high concentrated solution to the low concentrated solution and thus electricity will be developed so in a simple way this concentration cell can be represented as anode half reaction followed by the cathode half reaction so at anode what is happening zn is undergoing oxidation and at cathode what is happening zn plus 2 ions are undergoing reduction this is called as cell representation emf of this cell can be calculated by using the formula e cell is equal to 0.0592 by n into log c2 by c1 so here n represents the number of electrons lost or gained c2 is the higher concentrated solution c1 is the concentration of low concentrated solution so by using this formula it is possible to calculate emf of the cell so coming to the important applications of concentration cell this concentration cell is highly useful for calculating the valency of the cation at the same time concentration cell is highly useful to know the extent of corrosion these are the few applications of concentration cell if you like the video don't forget to like share and subscribe thanks for watching have a nice day